Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Solid Rock Personal Training Show. I'm Coach Bob, and today I got my man, Coach D, and we're gonna be talking about something really cool and some play on from last week. Last week we talked about portion control. This week we're talking about whole, minimally processed foods. Probably wondering what the heck that is. We're about to make that super simple for you so you can get really good results and feel awesome all day. Okay, cool, so Coach, the heck is a minimally processed whole piece of food? I don't know, Coach, what is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think this is the hardest thing for people to understand because people get marketed so much information about so much stuff that is portrayed as healthy. You know, I believe in God and I believe God put uh, everything on this planet that we need to live a long, healthy life. So when you go into the grocery store, a simple way to think of it is shopping the perimeter of the grocery store. What's on the perimeter? You got fruits, you got vegetables, you got lean cuts of meat, um, you got nuts, seeds, things like that. Anytime I'm in those middle aisles where it can say 500 milligrams of uh, protein or get shredded on these fat loss chips or uh, protein chips or this and that, that's just a marketing play saying, hey, this is healthy for you, but it's in a bag. It's probably highly processed. And there are some things like Lara Bars, RX Bars, some other brands out there that do a pretty good job of keeping things super simple and healthy. But one thing I know that my wife and I do is we look at the ingredients. If there's names on there that we can't read, probably not good for you. If there's a lot of ingredients on the back of it, probably not good for you. Yeah. So that's a real simple way to think of whole, you know, Love that. Minimally processed yeah. nutrient dense foods. So you just literally shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Yeah. Anything that looks like it came from the earth, probably pretty dang healthy. Yeah. Cool. And then less ingredients and something that you're going to eat better. 100. Cool, cool. So what are some good examples of lean proteins people should be consuming? Venison. Be venison. Yeah. So if you like deer hunt, go kill some deer. Venison is <laughs> a great lean protein. You send us some meat too here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I grew up on venison. That's why I'm lean, mean, fight machine. All right, no, but uh, salmon's a great lean protein. You can get lean turkey. Uh, you can get lean cuts of beef as well. Me personally, I like to stick to like lean cuts of turkey and uh, you know salmon and things like that is yeah. mainly what my family consumes in their diet Sweet. every week. Okay, cool. Uh, how about fats? What are good healthy sources of fats? Love avocados. Don't eat on your avocado. So last week, we talked about portion control. So like for a male, two thumb sizes. So at most that's half an avocado. I'll be honest, Coach D fails a lot and just crushes the whole avocado. If I'm a female, that's about a quarter of the avocado. So when you're making that avocado toast like me, make sure you're following your portion control. Yep. Almonds are a great option. Um, you know, olive oil, coconut oil, things, things along those lines, what you like to cook with. Just make sure if I'm putting olive oil on something, I'm uh, getting about, you know, Maybe a spoonful is about a thumb size mm -hmm. for a female too. So make sure you guys are doing it right. The extra virgin, right? Yeah, yep. extra virgin olive yep. oil. It's the best one. Okay, cool. How about carbs, starchy carbs, right? Things like rice, potatoes. What are some good examples of good, healthy, starchy carbs that people could be consuming? Man, I love carbs. When my wife and I go out to a nice meal, she asked her what the best part of dinner was. She says the rolls. <laughs> the bread. <laughs> the bread. But, uh, Sweet potatoes are my favorite. Yep. I love sweet potatoes. You can actually get a lot of good carbs from vegetables, but yep. for the True. sake of this conversation, we won't talk about that. Um, whole grain, things that are whole grain are gonna be great for you as well. Brown rice is a great option. Yep. Quinoa, things like that. For Anything sure. that's like white bread, that's highly processed, um, probably wanna stay away from. Carbs get a lot of people into trouble, but carbs, help people get a lot of great results because you need them and you need way more carbs than you actually think you do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because carbs are the body's easiest form of fuel yeah. to convert to, yeah. right? Because we have something called glycogen and anytime you eat carbs, you're replacing glycogen, yeah. basically. 100%. Okay, sweet. Um, how about things like fruits and veggies? I know that, you know, we want to sort of categorize those as carbohydrates like starchy carbs, but fruits and veggies, where some good go-to fruits and veggies, things that are easy to consume, cook, and eat. Yeah, things that are quick and easy. A banana is easy, you can do it on the go. An orange is easy, you can do it on the go. Uh, blueberries, mm -hmm. strawberries, anything like that. Um, spinach, I, I get probably, this is gonna sound bad, but 90% of my greens. vegetables, yeah. greens from uh, spinach. 
When I go to the grocery store, you're gonna see a ton of spinach in my cart. A lot of it's going in the freezer because I drink a smoothie every day and I get my greens in my smoothie um, and then some of it's going in the fridge. A lot of people are like, well, spinach sucks because it goes bad so quick. Throw freezer. it in the freezer, yeah. go on Amazon, buy a Nutribullet or a Ninja, a little shop blender. It is not a paid ad for them, by the way. Uh, and make your smoothie every morning. Get yeah. your nutrients. For sure. Okay, sweet. She's got some great ideas there. Basically, when it comes to fruits and veggies, eat the rainbow, right? The more yeah. colorful, the better. Anything that's got good, dense, dark colors, awesome for you. <clears throat> awesome. Last thing, uh, anything else you could think of from a food perspective that might be helpful and super simple for people? I think that pretty much wraps it up. But one thing I think would be great to touch on is calories not being counted equal. Yeah. A lot of people think calories in and calories out is how you lose weight, but not all calories are equal. So right. if I eat a cheeseburger that's a thousand calories, but then I eat a lean cut of meat, fruits and veggies that equals a thousand calories, my body is designed to process those whole nutrients mm -hmm. and my digestive tract is gonna get fired up, my metabolism is gonna get fired up. It's actually gonna make me leaner, feel a lot better and a lot healthier than eating that thousand calorie cheeseburger. For sure. Even if I went and worked out afterwards and I burned a thousand calories working out, yeah. your body's still gonna to wanna to hold on to it. So if you can put those whole nutrients in your body, your body's gonna perform a lot better. You're a freaking Ferrari, you would put race fuel in your Ferrari, you would just wouldn't put water in the gas tank. So I want you to think of your body that way too. Yeah, for sure, that's awesome. Sweet, so you recap real quick, what are whole minimally processed foods? Whole minimally processed foods are shopping the perimeter of the grocery yeah. store, lean cuts of meat, healthy fats, fruits, vegetables, and uh, you know carbohydrates. Perfect, love that. Guys, if you remember Solid Rock, we have awesome lists of these things already put together for you. Literally all you need to do is just reach out to one of our coaching staff. If you're not a member of Solid Rock and you're looking for help with your fitness, you also want some guidance on nutrition, you can also get the access to all this stuff. All you need to do is go to our website, solidrockpersonaltraining.com, click schedule free solid start session, and we'll be happy to get you some of this information as well. Until next time, team, it would mean the world to us if you go ahead and rate the podcast, smash the like button, and share it on whatever platform you're consuming. We'll see you next time. Peace.